morning, everybody. All right, back at it yet again. It's a little foggy today, a little chilly, but uh, got some good stuff happening today. Uh, what we got in the works is to hook up the hydraulic mule yet again, but not for the utility system. We're going to hook up for flight controls and test ailerons, uh, this uh, horizontal stabilator, and the rudder and make sure that those three systems are all working and we're going to do both pc1 and 2. Uh, we're going to give the dash 60 a break today and we're going to use the nc8 for power we're going to take this out and uh and see what she can do for us let's see mr switch Start. and here we go hmm that's not right. I had a feeling the battery is disconnected. There we go. Alright. Let's make sure this thing starts this time. Let's see. Parking brake is set. Hey, there we go. Now we got power. All right, so here we are in the left main gear, and up there is the hydraulic servicing panel for PC1. Uh, PC2 is in the other gear well. Uh, so that's the two main hydraulic systems for a Phantom as far as the flight controls go. You got PC1, PC2. Uh, the utility system is the third system. Uh, each engine has a utility pump and drives landing gear, flaps, uh, the air, high pressure air compressor, and a few other things on the aircraft and the t uh, tail hook. But uh, PC1 and PC2, there's only one pump for each and each one is on each engine respectively. So engine one has PC1, engine two has PC2. So we got to service each one of those, but they work together to work all the flight controls. And part of our testing today is fill, uh, fill up the reservoir first with this hydraulic, with this small portable cart that I just pulled over. And then, um, and then put the hydraulic mule on it and put power to the jet and then run all the flight controls, make sure we got full range of movement, everything's looking good and no leaks. Fingers crossed we get no leaks. Careful underneath here. She's not on jacks anymore, so I can't easily walk underneath her. All right. There we go. All right. Oh wow, this one's already full. Okay then. <laughs> All right. So. This is the forward end of the hydraulic reservoir for PC1. And it's, it's the screen cylinder right here to, that I'm shining the light on. And up there in the middle of it is the level indicator with a little pointer underneath it. And it's, it's slightly past full. All right. 
Okay, let's move on to the other side then. There we go. All right, let's check PC2. Huh, all right, it's already full as well. That's a better indication. Uh, it's a better uh, look at the pointer and the line. So it's already full. It's at the full line. So I didn't need to drag that cart over here. Should have checked that first. Oh well, you live and learn. All right, so small change in plans. A little history on these. So the Air Force jets had a 24 volt battery inside them in order to help power stuff and to also do cartridge starts at fields where they didn't have all the, the starting equipment that, that was needed, like the start cart and the generator cart. But uh, in our case today, the battery is run down low enough that we can't keep the power to the jet, so we gotta charge the battery. And that's back here in the Wizzle's cockpit behind that panel and further down to get to it. So now we get to open this up. Yippee. All right, now which way are we going? Ooh, probably gonna need a stubby. Yep, you got a stubby with you by chance? No. Uh, all right, yep, yeah, gonna need a stubby. There we go. There you go, sir. All right. And you said this this panel comes out too, right? Oh, there's the batteries way over there. Yeah, it's behind it. Oh boy. All right, so take these out. Yeah, and then let's see the connectors on the bottom. Once you fold it out, you can get those out pretty easy. Yeah, these two cannon plugs. Yeah. So. Yeah. Bolts. So. This has to come out first, right? Yeah, the cover plate. All right. All right, now we got this loose. Hey, cannon plugs. One, two. Uh -oh. What is that? Uh, looks like something new to me. Here's that screwdriver. Swing that out of the way. What's it labeled? Oh, this is a GPS breaker. Okay. All right. All right. We'll just swing that out of our way for now. So, like I said, if you want to take those four, they're quick turns up here on that. Up here? Control, yeah. No, no, up, 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 up the controller handle there. There's four little quick turns, half turn each, and that box will come up and out. Oh, that's right. You can reach down in there to get to the. Uh, it's, yeah. Let's pivot aft. There we go. Hey. Oh. See, now you can see the battery connector. Hand control unit for the radar, which is no longer functional. Hey, there's our battery right back there. All right, safety glasses. There we go. Let's see. I see the light. I need to see which one's positive and negative. All right, negative. It's on the green. All right. Two. Yeah. All right. Positive is on the right. Negative is on the left. Well, that's not as big as some of the bigger ones. No. no. Try pulling it out of there. Oh yeah. Well, I know we are because uh, before we fly it, we're gonna put a brand new one in here. So okay. Yeah. Well, now I can do is hook up the charger, and we're good to go. Which I left down on the ground. Again. Okay. <laughs> Let me, there we go. There's the positive. There's the negative. All right. There we go. Got power. Let's see what we got. Let's see. Let's pick up the tools. Okay, we got power. Battery is good. Battery is charging. All right. All right, looks good. The charger likes the battery, so we still got some decent power in it. Sorry, 
at least they had another silver shot. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Good. <sighs> yeah. Battery in the Phantom. They really found a good spot for it. Really wish they could have put that in a better place. On the RF4C, they did. Right, so you hinted at it a minute ago. Where where did they put the battery on an RF-4C? On the RF-4C, right there where the forward missile well is, they, there was panel 507, and you just swung that panel down and the battery was right there. You could take it out from there too? Well, it had a little rack that would swing down. Oh, okay. It was a yeah. lot easier than any of these. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. Oh yeah, especially if the seat's in it. Oof. Stand on your head. Well, let's make a note to put the new one in before we put the seats back in. That's a good idea. Yes. All right, not as productive today as we had hoped. There's only two of us here, me and Crew Chief Al. However, we did get a fair amount done, and if we didn't have to, uh, have to recharge the battery there, we probably would have gotten some hydraulic work done on the uh, flight control surfaces. And so we'll let this charger run, and we'll come back to the hydraulics next week and should be good to go as far as the DC power and we'll get her done so thanks for watching everybody we'll see you next time